Good morning, everybody. It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching and looking to trade here on the last day of February, the 28th of February in 2019. So let's get right into it, guys. I don't want to keep you too long this morning. The first one I'm watching is natural gas. And for those of you guys that don't know, natural gas is a future and we trade a pair of inverse ETFs. Me personally and a lot of people that watch this channel, you guys and D gas. And pretty much, guys, whenever natural gas is going up in price, you guys is going up in price as well. And just to get to, just to give you guys, you know, a quick little uh look at this ETF here that I'm looking to trade, it's you guys ticker symbol U G A Z. And pretty much whenever natural gas is going up in price, you guys is going up in price. And what do we notice right now about natural gas, guys? It's at a very, very critical point. We notice we're at the 180 SMA resistance right now on this 180 day four hour chart. This has been a resistance over the past couple of months stemming back to the middle of January in 2019. We can see three separate occasions here. We had trouble getting out of that resistance on the 14th of January, the 16th of January, and the 17th of January. And that's really the month where we downtrended very heavily <clears throat> in terms of natural gas. But since then, we saw the double bottom, the break out of the first resistance here, which was the 50 SMA, the break out of the 270 resistance, which is a good sign that we're trending up. And now we saw the rejection a couple of days ago at 285. And now it's looking like we're retesting that area of 285. So two things can happen right here, guys. Let's say we break out of the 180 SMA resistance. We break out of that 285 resistance. <clears throat> and ultimately into the 290 range, this is going to be a good sign for you guys to take a position, whether it's a day trade, a couple of days as a swing trade, even though you're not really supposed to, uh, you know, swing trade these volatile leveraged ETFs, but you can do it at your own risk. That could be a good opportunity if we do break out of here to the upside on a technical basis. But Another thing you could potentially do if we do get rejected here today, and let's say we start to push back down into the um, you know mid 270s, high 270s, and slowly start to test the support, you can play the inverse of you guys, which in this case is D gas guys, which obviously goes up in price whenever natural gas is selling off. So that's the first pair of ETFs I'm watching today. And natural gas again is at a very critical spot, whether it's going to break up or down. That's going to be the deciding factor on what we're going to be trading today, D gas or U gas. Another bunch of stocks. <clears throat> that I'm watching today are the marijuana stocks, in particular Cron, Cron, CGC, and ACB, which is Aurora Cannabis. So just to quickly go over these ones, guys, we saw Cron over the past couple of days kind of take a dip from about $23 down to about $19, and now we're seeing a resistance at around $21 and let's say $0.50 cents roughly, right? So what I'm watching for, and we can see this alert that I do have, I'm going to slowly bring it down to about $22. I'm watching for the break out of this resistance and the breakout, honestly, of, ab of above $22 to see if we can test the next resistance here, which would be at around $23. So judging off a longer term chart here, guys, we can see what I'm talking about a little bit more clear. We were holding that uptrend pattern for the past couple of uh, weeks here, really from the 10th of uh, February up to the 22nd. We took that dip, we broke the pattern, but now we're testing the resistance, which if we do break out of it, right? We'll be retesting, you know, these highs of this pattern from a couple of days ago. So I'm watching uh, Cron here very closely for the break above $22. ACB and Aurora Cannabis is another one that we saw took a dip from around $8, $7.90 down to about $7.50. And it's looking like we're holding the 50 SMA here on the 20 day one hour chart as a support. And we're trending up pre-market hours heading into the bell here in about 20 minutes. So let's say, <clears throat> excuse me, 
We do end up popping up, opening up green. We're going to look to fill the gap back up to 790, and this could be a very, very solid um, potential day trade here. And if we break 790, head, in, head into the $8 range, hypothetically, we could end up trading it back up to 855, which is a resistance back from, uh, what is that, the 5th of February in 2019. And CGC, guys, this one's actually up pretty big right now on the uh on the pre-market hours here we're up about like two dollars nearly actually like a dollar fifty from 45 50 up to where we are right now and this is a good sign that we're holding the support uh from a couple of days ago on this 42 43 dollar mark where we bounced on the 11th of february and now it's seeming like we bounced there again on the 25th of february so what am i looking at now guys well we held the support and we bounced even above this resistance which is now a new support again at about 45 dollars and it's looking like we're holding that in the pre-market session right now so guys cgc look for it to slowly start to test 47 dollars potentially not 40 $47, $50 actually, which would be the next resistance here at about $49.50 to $50. So from where we are right now, guys, $47 up to $49. That's the next fill, the gap fill that I'm looking for to do. And from there, if we do end up breaking $49, we could end up head, heading back up to $51 in terms of uh, CGC. So I'm watching CGC, guys, very closely. This one's probably the most attractive one on a technical basis. Of course, Cron and ACB, they're also looking very nice as well. And what is the other one I was I wanted to talk to you guys about? Uh, what was it? Coca-Cola. That's one that I'm actually already in. I did take a position in that one <clears throat> yesterday. I was going to let you guys know, and here it is. I took a position in Coca-Cola yesterday. This is a potential swing that I'm currently in with about 15, 20% of my goal position in Coca-Cola. Another one that I want to watch today, guys, for potential day trade and the continuation of the uptrend pattern is UWT. And for those of you guys that don't know, UWT trades based upon the crude oil futures. Whenever crude oil is going up in price, UWT is going up in price as well. And what do we notice here pre-market hours, guys? We saw a pretty big dip down to about 1536 and it's looking like we're maintaining that uptrend pattern from the past 20 days here on the dip that we just took this morning so keep an eye on this level guys if we break 16 dollars this one could be a runner back up to 1650 and of course if we continue the uptrend pattern we could be testing potentially 1675 17 dollars here in the next couple of days in terms of uwt so that's pretty much it for this morning's video guys a couple of stocks and etfs that i'm personally watching the marijuana stocks coca-cola uwt and you guys those are you know five six that i'm personally watching right now drop a comment down below what are you guys watching today in terms of your trades i would love to know hit that like button if you guys do enjoy these pre-market videos if i do get enough likes if enough people do like these i'll consider doing these on a day-to-day -day basis and just let me know guys simply just drop that comment and if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell good luck today trading guys i hope you all do well i'll catch you guys in the video later today